Hey Bella Zebras, what's going on? Welcome to Zebra Tarot. You are now in the Zebra Tarot Lounge. And if this found you, or if you found this, chances are there are messages in here for you. My intentions are that these readings reach exactly whomever, whichever wild animal they need to reach at exactly the right times if they need to reach you for the best and highest good of everyone involved. We are right now going home to the kingdom of heaven within. It's within um, you, it's within myself, it's within each and every one of us wild animals. And what that looks like is a little bit different for each and every one of us. It is unique, it is specific to you because you have your own hopes, dreams, wishes, and desires. You are unique, you are wild. Also too, we have now stepped into, or we are now stepping into the age of Aquarius and where we're going is beautiful beyond words, it's higher dimensionally. If you're watching this, then, um, Know that you're on your way with that being said i'm not sure what's going to come out but i will uh, i'll just get into it we'll pull some cards we'll see what does come out for y'all for the week ahead with that being said holy spirit guardian angels lies white light i welcome you now for my beautiful libras my wild animals watching whatever it is that they need to know for the best and highest good the week ahead oh man keep dropping cards maybe i'll uh Maybe y'all watch it, maybe you keep dropping things, I don't know. <laughs> All right, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angel, Slice by Light. I have uh, three cards, please, for my beautiful Libras watching for the weekend, whatever it is that they need to know. All right, Four of Cups. The universe could be trying to deliver something to y'all. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angel, Slice by Light. I have another card, please, for my Libra, for whoever is watching. Death does, uh, doesn't have to be a scary card. Uh, death is just a natural process that we all go through in a million different ways each and every day. Um, we are infinite, we are eternal, we are multi-dimensional spiritual beings having a right now temporary human experience. And with death, even like with the four seasons, with um, spring rebirth, fresh life, new growth, summer, really um, getting into it, getting full of life, then fall kind of, you know, things starting to begin to die off again and kind of cooling down and taking a step back and then winter, everything sort of dies and the cycle repeats again and again and again. Um, four of sorts, this is a need for rest, need for retreat, this could be mental rest. Holy Spirit, Garden Nations, and I have a card piece for the overall energy for my Libras, my beautiful Libras, watching whatever it is they need to know. This uh, is Seven of Swords, just landed upside down. I'll go ahead and take it kind of overall energy. I'm just getting it as in something that maybe you're going through right now, but I'm getting kind of this has already begun to happen or whatever for you. The Seven of Swords, this is like a trickster energy or something. Uh, a thief, someone in your energy who is not kind of like a wolf in sheep's clothing, someone who plays reindeer games who will smile to your face and shake your hand, but then stab you in the back. Um, also too, with the picture in this deck, I really get it as You're just picking up those swords and you're throwing them over your back and you're being like brush that fished off like you're smiling you're just you're just over it you just that's kind of what i get
Alright, Libra, so y'all may have been dealing with someone, something recently. That was not good for you. Um, whatever that was, it's gone through a death process in your life with the death card coming out. It's already dying. It's gone. You've released it or you are releasing it now. Whatever that relationship, person, place thing was or whatever, it's... It's dead. And you've let it go. Or oh, I'm getting that you are making peace with it, coming to terms with it, letting it go. Just like with this person here throwing the sh uh, swords over their shoulder. Sorry, y'all hear that? I got a, a cricket lost in the house here. And apparently the they work night shift. The, sleep during the day and they uh, throw a party in here at night so i don't know if y'all can hear that or not but uh maybe that's for someone i don't know this month anyways all right so with this four of cups here um maybe you're still feeling some type of way about whatever this was what in your life whatever tricks your energy maybe this was a well, whatever relationship it was, it was something that you had strong emotion for. You had, you were invested in emotionally, you had feelings for, even if it was just a work relationship or something like that. And now that it's, it's, it's dead to you or it, it's died or you've let it go or whatever, it just, I feel like you're still kind of shaking it off and the universe, God, most high source, the divine, whatever you want to call it, is trying to gift you this beautiful new cup, something that will emotionally fulfill you. Um, you have these three right here, still standing, whatever that may be, but the universe is, here you go, Libra. Here's a beautiful new cup for you and you're like, no, I want it. The universe is like, here you go, Libra. And you're like, no, I want it. And the universe is like, take this damn cup, Libra. And that's why I'm seeing the four of swords here too. There's just really that need for rest to Sometimes for whatever reason, it's normal. We all just get in these moods and stuff and everything where we're not always going to feel 100%. Sometimes we... I'm getting that commercial where like, someone's not being themselves or being like a pretty Madonna or whatever. I'm not saying this is you, but... Then they grab them a Snickers bar and they're like, here you go, eat this Snickers, you're not being yourself, you're hungry. And all of a sudden this like prima donna has turned back into like a, a man or whatever, or, you know, <laughs> for whatever reason, I, I feel like this, you right here, the universe tried to gift you a new cup. Like, here you go, Libra, and you're just, take a nap or eat a Snickers bar and then the universe will try to give you this cup again. And I think you'll be like, okay, I'll take it now. Pretty clear, pretty straightforward message. Um, I'm, I'm for the week ahead, uh, that's awesome, that's amazing. Sounds like you do have a new offer, new cup coming in, something, whatever it is that is going to fulfill you. What is it? A cup that you desire what is the little size of your kingdom of heaven within look like for you holy spirit guardian angels the last spot i'm going to clarify this seven of swords for the overall energy just to see if we could get any more information on it anything helpful holy spirit guardian angels the last spot i have another card please to clarify the seven of swords Not sure if this was supposed to fly out or not. Um, I'll put it back. This is the moon. Uh, could be a Pisces or just something. Uh, this could be spending time and your subconscious going deep within. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, I swear I may have a card please to clarify the seven stories from my beautiful Ebers watching. Whatever they need to know. 
Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, and High Skylight. I have a card, please, to be clarified. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I don't think I'm supposed to use this deck for y'all's reading right now. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, and High Skylight. I have a card, please, for my beautiful Libras watching for the week ahead with, to clarify the Seven of Swords. With King of Swords. Been a masculine figure in your life. Um, getting sitting on their high horse. If you look at the card here, this, this throne is huge. It's like there's the little trees right there, the little shrubs or whatever, and like his head is all the way up in the clouds. I don't know, normally I don't see that or take this card this way, but it's really standing out to me right now. Whoever you're going with their head, there's just Normally the King of Swords doesn't have to be a bad, you know, wild animal or anything like that, but for whatever reason, I'm just taking, uh, you know, normally they're carrying their sword of truth and they're sitting on their throne, but right now I'm just really seeing it someone this, they're on their high horse, they're maybe someone feeling like, uh, The big ego or just feeling like you can squash people like a little bug or something like that i don't know my spirit guardian angels i swear i have a card piece another card to clarify seven swords from my libras beautiful on animals for whoever's watching Six of Pentacles. I'm reading these cards intuitively right now, so a little bit different reading for y'all. But um, whoever this was, this King of Swords, whoever uh, this was probably a job or someone who was uh, providing for you financially, whatever it was you were exchanging, you know, time, money, whatever, uh, sir, like your energy in some type of way and they would it was very transactional very it could be a physical relationship with a a person it doesn't have to be a job but whatever it was is very transactional this is i'm seeing here these people like prostrating themselves and they're almost like they have their hands out or whatever and i don't mean this like in a disrespectful way or anything i hope it's not coming across that way but uh whoever this was it's king of swords their head in the clouds, I'm getting that's this person right here, and they're just like throwing change, throwing money at like um looking at these beautiful odd animals like they're peasants. And I'm noticing this this skeletal here, he's holding them, but he's not even looking at them, just like for show, if that makes sense, just like kind of dangling them like, oh I'm so I'm so uh the word i want to say so balanced so justified so righteous or whatever is kind of what's coming to mind there with the skulls but he's not really looking at them it's just kind of dangling them just for show that's all it is where this king of swords was seven swords you're so over it. um again this death uh whatever was hidden that was brought to light yeah i feel like you're seeing clearly You're picking those swords up, you're again tossing them over your shoulder. All right, that leaves the Four of Cups. Um, universe trying to give you a new blessing to deliver something beautiful, wild, and new to you. Still may be a little upset about this, a little frustrated. That's where the need for rest comes in. Just take a nap, eat a Snickers bar, whatever you gotta do for the week ahead. I'm curious about this Four of Cups to see what else this blessing could be. 
I'll pull a card for that. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the last spotlight. I might have a card, please, to clarify. This Four of Cups. What new blessings being delivered to my beautiful Libra, my wild animal. Also to, I don't know, where'd it go? The scales here, that is, you know, Libra as well, the very justice, all that. Um, all right. I don't even know where this came from, but this card was already out of the deck um, and I, di I didn't take it out. It was, it come out at some point during this reading and it was right over here. Um, this page of wands, this could be this new blessing the universe is trying to deliver to you. Maybe that's this new cup and you might be getting an incoming message, a love offer, a maybe it's a invitation for a new job, something like that. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest white light. May I have one card, please, to clarify this Four of Cups? What blessing are you trying to bring in for my beautiful Libras, my wild animals watching? What is Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest white light. One card, please, to clarify this Four of Cups. Not sure if this was supposed to come out of the devil. With the lovers here being chained together and things like that, this could be. This can mean a few things. This four of cups. This could be kind of just that devil energy, like um, feeling upset, frustrated, or whatever, and turning down this new offer coming in. It could be that. It doesn't have to be or. This could be the Seven of Swords trying to come back in. But I don't really get that because the universe here with the Four of Cups is more like the universe is trying to give you a blessing, not trying to... You know, the universe giving you a blessing does not include the Seven of Swords, the Trickster, whatever it is, this King of Swords on his high horse, whatever, trying to come back in. That's not the universe trying to give you a blessing. So. I'm not sure if this was supposed to come out, I'll put it back. But with the page of wands getting definitely an incoming offer, I think that's what was supposed to come out. I don't know how that got there. Maybe you're probably getting an incoming offer. Maybe check your email, check your voicemail. If you've been thinking about responding to an offer, but saying no, I'm gonna just again, take that nap and All right, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Slice, White Light. One last card, please, to clarify his four cups. One last card to clarify his four cups. All right, Knight of Swords, this is uh, someone very, you know, getting a lot of different vibes from this King of Swords. This is very serious, like very on his high horse, very head up in the clouds. This right here, I'm getting very youthful energy, very like, it's riding in on the white horse there with this sort of truth, but this energy feels a lot more pure, a lot more fun, a lot more your speed, your style, your, I'm just feeling like it's a lot better match for your energy and it's coming in quickly. This page, night, both coming towards you. Whatever it may be, that's all. Uh, yeah, I. You're gonna know what this is. I. It could be a few different things for a few different wild animals, a few different libras watching. But if you're watching this, it sounds like I'm talking directly to you. I am. Um, the universe is always communicating with you. When you. You are so powerful. You are so magical. You are. This entire universe within you, what appears outside of you. It's just a reflection of your that universe inside of you. So whatever you ask for, you will get answers for. Whatever you seek, you will find. Uh, whatever doors you knock on, they will be opened unto you. And it all happens within you. So the universe is communicating with you at all times. And even through these readings through YouTube, things like that. So you're going to know what this is for you. If it sounds 
like your scenario, your situation, this is definitely for you. And uh, yeah, I guess to sum it up, just take a nap. The universe is trying to bring in something beautiful for you. All right, love y'all.